Hello, welcome back to the networking class. So let's start learning about some of the IP addresses styles which we have already discussed before about class A, class B, class C, class D and class E. So we have a separate addressing style of IP addresses now which we have to know. So the addressing style is public IP address and private IP address. So the public IP address we have described that here a unique internet protocol address known as public IP address is assigned to every computer that connects to the internet. So what exactly do you mean by public IP address? So the public IP address is an IP address which can be accessed anywhere in the world. You go outside anywhere in the world that can be accessed through internet so that's why we have provided that the IP the it has been the IP address has been provided by the internet service providers okay so whoever may be your internet service provider it might be Verizon or it might be BSNL or it might be SIFI or any of the internet service providers will provide this particular type of public IP address which can be accessed overall in internet and anywhere in the globe so that's good we have understood that so what's private IP address so an example for public IP address would be any of your um, web server so web server the google.com can be accessed anywhere from the world which ha which also has an IP address okay so let us just check what is the IP address we have for a Google web server so we have already discussed before in the previous classes so we have this particular IP address which is there assigned for the Google server so this IP address can be called as the public IP address okay so I'll just copy this and I'll paste it as an example okay so I'll say example google.com web server IP so we'll paste that here so that the IP is 74.125.127.100 so if we speak about the private IP address so these are the IP addresses which is being assigned by your administrator or you yourself can assign an IP address to your computer so how do you assign it it, it may be uh, different ways how you are getting the IP addresses to your computer so it, it may be manually uh, someone has assigned an IP address or it has been done through a router also okay or it may be done through a server also so an IP address can be assigned through a router or it can be assigned through a server okay so the IP address which is there in a network inside a network which doesn't have any uh, connection to the internet or to any public domain so those type of IP addresses are called as private IP addresses that's what we have put in an information here so what is the information we have typed in here so it says address which are used by private networks so private networks may be your office or it may be a, your house which has five computers or it may be an internet cafe without an internet okay okay inside if they are trying to share some files even that would be a private address okay so and even the private address can be also assigned from your router or it may be done through your network administrator or a server okay so that's what is the private IP address that's good so we know that how private IP address works so let's come to DHCP dynamic host configuration protocol so as the name itself suggests so it dynamically assigns the hosts the IP addresses so it is also called as boot protocol previously okay so how do you assign so what do you mean by dynamically so the IP address which is assigned to any computers in your local 
office or in maybe in your uh, in your house which has five computers okay so that th so DHCP assigns only private IP address it cannot hold the public okay so the private IP addresses which is there okay so it can be assigned through a router or a DHCP server dynamic host configuration protocol server okay so the IP addresses which are assigned through this particular protocol that is the dynamic it which keeps on changing the dynamic means to say that it which keeps on changing okay so those type of IP addresses okay is called as so for that purpose we use DHCP protocol okay uh, there would be a DHCP server which is assigning the IP addresses for hundred or thousand computers in your office or it may be a router which is assigning or acting as a um, which is using a DHCP protocol and assigning the IP addresses for all your computers which may be hundred or which may be thousand so this particular process is handled by DHCP protocol so that is the usage of DHCP so if you see here and it was previously called as boot p so we have written an information that ip address assigned by networking device like routers and dhcp server dhcp server is not networking device it is a server standalone it may be a standalone system or it may be a big server okay and these are called dynamic ip addresses okay which change after the least time completes on the clients so what do you mean by least time the least time is the time which is allocated for one IP address which is assigned from any of the router or it may be assigned through any of the DHCP server. Okay, so if that time completes automatically the IP address will change. So that's why we call it as dynamic which keeps on changing IP. So if you what is called as static IP, uh, IP which is assigned only for one computer which does not change even though the least time is completed even though you turn off the computer and turn it on so even then if the IP address remains the same those type of IP is called a static IP so that's that's how it goes okay let us check a picture here which speaks about uh, how it goes so here we have a DHCP server here we have the computers and the laptops which is there so now this particular computer is making a request for a DHCP server then it is getting an IP address here also you see the same process happening here also you see the same process happening here also you see the same process happening so let us take here this IP address is assigned to this computer and once the time completes so if we if the DHCP states DHCP server states it was only 24 hours was the least time for this computer once the 24 hours is completed the IP address which is assigned to this computer will change automatically okay so that is what is called as DHCP server assigning an IP addresses that's why we call it as DHCP as a protocol which uses to assign the IP addresses so let's end this session now by completing it and we'll jump to the next session